So in this video, we're going to look at how to make a histogram and a box plot. If you have questions on how to enter the data and get to this point where we have a dot plot, go back and watch the data and dot plot video that I've already made. So here I am already at my dot plot for this test data that we have, which I got from the test scores in our quiz review for our quiz tomorrow. The way I can change this is let's go to menu. When we go to menu, I can see under number one, we have plot type. So if I click on plot type, and here I can change it. So first let's look at box plot. So as we look at the box plot, there we can see the change. As we can see, we have two dots, which represent our outliers on the low side. So they were lower or less than our low fence. Okay. Then we're able to see where our whisker starts, if you call this a box and whisker plot. Q1 is here at 46, our median in the middle at 48, Q3 at 52, and our maximum here is 53. So there's what the box plot looks like. In the next video, we'll look at where these numbers were found through our five number summary, but this is what the graphical representation of these is. So now if I want to change this to look at a histogram, I can go to menu, again number one for plot type, and now number three will give me a histogram. So here's a good looking histogram. As we said, histogram the boxes should touch, but since there's such a, such a large gap here, we're not going to worry about that. We like that they are touching here together. If they weren't touching, we would be able to go to menu and number two, which is plot properties. And from there, we could go to histogram and bin size and then equal bin width. So let me just do that again. I'll get back by hitting escape. So I hit menu, number two, which is plot properties. Number two, which is histogram properties. Number two, which is bin size. And number one, which is equal bin width. And I could change how large I would want the bars to be. So I'm okay with two, so I'll just leave it and hit cancel but I could change it and see what would happen. So in the next video, we'll look at finding the five number summary in the statistics page.